the next the next part of the video you're gonna see is uh something that I recorded a little bit while ago and I realized that I was partially cut off out of frame. And I'm not going to repeat everything I said in that video, which I'm gonna be adding to this one. What I said stays said. And I am in no mood to re record it again. So I'm gonna just append it to this one. And for those of you who never seen me blow my top or Lumi blow her top, right, you're gonna hear a lot of yelling. But at least it was kept courteous and uh, English, clean language. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not even going to add Fade to Black. I just want to get this thing out because it's kind of warm in here. And we got a little place things we got to do today. So, without further ado, here's the video that I'm talking about. Okay. Hello, Mary Meet, everybody. It's Michelle Marie Delaney. Yes, I'm in the studio for this program because I can be here in a day for a little bit. And I'm not going to take too much because right now we're working on the plumbing. Uh, so we have no water right now. So uh, because they're doing so much work at one time, Jimmy is kind of taking my advice, which is, well, you got everybody out of here. Why don't you start doing some renovation work at the same time in the building? And that's what he's doing. So he's fixing things up and uh, they're updating wiring and things like that. And yeah. How are you doing, Mr. Cat? Hmm? How are you doing? How's your ear? How's your ear? Still smells nasty. Yeah. Still smells nasty. Don't look bad, though. Just you know, a little bit of a wax problem. His ear's doing better, but, you know, he's still got a wax issue in his ear. I'm just going to run the tape boy clean his ear. Um, you know, the thing I'm trying to say is, um, after I talked to this gentleman last night, I kind of got really, really upset with him, and, um, I just decided that he's the kind of reason why I'm leaving Facebook, um, because I don't want to deal with this kind of bullshit anymore, you know? I try to, um, help people, and, and I, I'm working with you know, the tenants in the building, we're all living in the house together. We're all trying to make deal with the best situation. Watch out, don't pull your ear. Don't pull your ear. Still smells like cottage cheese in there. Yuck. That's what, because I missed the ear wax last time. See, he's got this problem in his ear. He's got wax build up. Um, and, and it, what? Yeah. 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 Do a lot better, kitty. If you just... If you don't move your head too much, you can get in there and really get a good ear cleaning out of you. Okay? Come on. Bang. Come on. I never hurt you. Okay. This is better. Yeah. It's better than it was. He's... Okay. We can relax for a little bit. So anyway, um, I, um, so Jimmy's starting to fix other things in the building too. He's working on so many other apartments and so it's not just going to be fixing the porch. Let's, he's waiting for the big contractors to start on that, but he's also starting to fix other things in the building at the same time, like leaky pipes and, um, electrical problems and things like that. And, uh, so, you know, the, the point is, is that um, we're all kind of just holding on to our own, like I said in my video, it's a different hell house. And, but, like I said about the people that were starting to make trouble for us at the yellow house. Guys, I really wish that people understood that, yes, I'm going to document my journeys, but that doesn't mean that the people at housing don't know about the problem. In fact, they were the ones who originally filed the reports from when this prior person was living here, okay? They're the ones who has it on the case law. They know all about the building and this porch and, you know. So the point I'm trying to say is you don't have to rehash, which has already been talked about. It's ridiculous. This is people like me and all the families are trying to just do our best. We're trying to survive. We're trying to hold our own. 
We don't need to make trouble for other people. That's stupid. That's like asking for problems. We're all trying to just hold on. We all would like to be able to sleep in our own beds. And yes, we can take our beds with us over there. It's just that some of us don't know if it's worth the aggravation. I don't know if it's worth hauling a full-size bed over. Who's going to help me carry it? I don't know. I mean, I've been getting good night's sleep on the floor, so, I mean, I'm not going to bitch. I'm not upset about the bed. <sighs> you got to take the socks off the shower rod. I, yeah, I will. Um, you're right. we got to put the socks away. I probably need those sometimes in the house. Yes. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is, is that the people who are making trouble for everybody else, and it's none of their concern, it's just not right to do that. I don't care how many rendezvous you got against a person's landlord. This is not my concern. My concern is just like everybody else's. Have a place to sleep, eat, and excrete. That's all I want. I don't want to... You know, have my whole life in limbo indefinitely. Everybody's life goes into limbo sometime. Everybody's. And this gentleman's life I'm talking about certainly has been in limbo a lot more than mine. So, um, besides people like him, uh, I'm just getting fed up with the whole Facebook experience. There's so many darn people on Facebook that I don't even... I read their their blogs, and some of them are good. Some of the entries are great, but some of them are just, you know, don't really appeal to me. I didn't come into Facebook originally because I wanted to be there. Originally, I was on MySpace, when the MySpace was the old MySpace. And then everybody was talking about how great Facebook was. And I went over to Facebook. At the time, it was still new and kind of cool. And, and all of a sudden, it's not so cool anymore. Um, I'm on Google Plus. I'm on Twitter. Although I really don't even really read much tweets. I I do once in a while. I'm on um, Imgur. I'm on Tumblr. I have my own blog page and Blogger or Blogspot, whatever it's called. Um, and so you know, I'm 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 pretty well out there. But honestly, the Facebook page is just kind of. Uh, you know, it's kind of losing its taste, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, but how people trying to um, get my nose out of joint um, about trying to get involved in my personal affairs, that's just a little bit more than I can deal with. You know, Dory said to me, why don't you stand up for your step instead of just taking it passively? Well, I am standing up for myself right now, but politely stating this. Please do not muddle any affairs of other people, okay? We don't need that. We're all trying to live our lives as best we can. Hi, Rusty! Oh, no, is that Rusty? Yeah, that's Rusty. No, he said, no, no, not getting some cooler. I don't know what I'm trying to say is that, uh, guys, look. Everybody has got a life to live. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're John, da John Doe, Jane Doe, John Smith. I don't care. Okay? Everybody's got issues in their lives. I don't, and they're all different. But the point is, is that those of us, like myself, who choose to openly document our lives are doing this because we like to be fully disclosure. And we like people to know the truth. And maybe someday, when I kick the bucket or whatever, or maybe my own autobiography, I can look back at those clips and say, yeah, I remember that situation when that happened and how we dealt with it. And, you know, it's it's easier that we... That's true. Besides, Michelle's been on a great on a, uh, grace under fire. She's been... She's been maintaining the building. She's, I mean, her own life, she's been trying, guys. And I agree with you, Michelle, that this person should just not be meddling in the affairs of others. Um, it's just not right. <laughs> you know what the sad truth is? What? 
This guy couldn't care less. Well, I care. I know. I, I, I think it's disgusting. This is a personal matter, and... Nobody asked, you never asked anybody, and said, Excuse me, could somebody please intervene? I didn't, you never asked that. You never asked that. It's true, I never did ask that. Okay? Now, if somebody really wants to do something helpful, how about this instead? You know, Michelle really does want to have... Ability to do better video work over there. Right, this is this is a fact. Why don't you guys, who instead of meddling in the affairs of others where they don't ask for help, could you please meddle in the affairs of others when they do? Michelle has constantly said to all of you, "Is could you please make a little donation to help them defray operating costs?" Only one person has been doing that that we can really document. Maybe two. Yeah, two. And the point is, is that those people are very much, um, you know, becoming a major part of our patronage. But we still need help and financial remuneration to pay for these videos. Why aren't you helping there instead of trying to stick your nose in the things and say, no, why did you help on in the first place? I agree. I'm like, if you guys really want to help us, then can't you help us in the ways we asked you to? We need financial assistance to keep doing these videos and doing them well. They cost money to back them up on the tape, and CDs, DVDs, computers. My God, it's like I can't believe all of this stuff and you guys... Instead of focusing on something that nobody asks for help on. No wonder why Michelle wants to leave Facebook. She can't handle this anymore. She just she told this guy last night, I don't want nothing to do with this. I am not the one who's complaining. I'm not going to start complaining. I'm just happy enough to have a place to sleep every night and a meal in the morning and a chance to finally get my life together. This is the kind of thing Michelle wants. Okay? Michelle, when she was younger, um, maybe about 2003? 2000-ish. 2000-ish. What did Michelle ask Mother God for? She said, Mother, I don't ask for much. I just want a hovel when I return. That's right. A hovel. An H-O-V-E-L. A simple place with a dirt floor, a thatched roof, a very simple meager existence. She has that. She's not unhappy. Why in the hell do you guys have to make everybody else's life miserable and try to push your nose into other people's affairs when they don't want you to do that in the first place? Come on. Wake up. Wake up and smell reality. Michelle never said, I want you to get involved with my housing situation. Leave my housing situation alone. Leave Michelle's housing situation alone. We don't need you to get involved there. This is mostly for that gentleman that's making the trouble. But for the rest of you guys who are thinking about doing the same thing, please refrain from doing that. Okay, Michelle, and I don't need that now. We're doing the best we can. No wonder why Michelle wants to walk away from Facebook. These people do not realizing how much damage that they're going to cause. Not just Michelle, but all the other families in that house. All of them. Why do you want to do that? Do you want? Do you hate everybody so much and so such disregard for all human existence that you don't even want to honor the American Constitution? That says, we the people believe that all people should have the right, an inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, Michelle is happy while she's living. That's her life. That's her liberty. And her pursuit of happiness. Don't fuck it up because you think you're going to do better. And guess what? 
every time you people, oh, every time people try to push themselves into another person's life, being a yenta, setting their tongue, everybody else said their life, their life is wrong. It hurts people. Okay, Michelle and I have done everything under reasonable way to be fair and let you know what's going on because we like to share, but. That doesn't mean that we appreciate when when people do this out of malice. This man is trying to do it out of malice and revenge. Nothing to do with Michelle at all. This has nothing to do with Michelle. He has a personal vendetta against Michelle's landlord and landlady. It has nothing to do with Michelle. But unfortunately, Michelle is going to end up, and everybody else is going to get hurt in the crossfire. And this man, this, this is true evil incarnate, this guy is doing. True evil incarnate. And he's sitting there and telling everybody else, I'm concerned about so and so. Excuse me. If you're concerned about so and so, then why don't you ask them what they should do? Michelle's already talked to her case management team. She already knows. They already know. They said to Michelle, is hang in there. Unless you want to force an upper hand. Michelle does not want to Michelle does not want to create problems, and neither do I. Let's let the situation go, guys. Please. I rest my case. Thanks. You're welcome. And of course, for the rest of you guys, um, I don't know what we're going to do about the Facebook situation personally. But um, I am just so angry at this individual right now. I'm angry because he has his own arrangement in Florida, and yet he's continually pushing his agenda to get back at my landlord, my landlady, for reasons that was, he voluntarily gave up his voucher. He was the one who called all the inspectors in when he was living in here. He was the one who basically tried to drag the landlord and landlady down into the mud. He's the one who tried to get him, everybody thrown out of the building, regardless of their concerns. He was the one who decided not to go to housing court and fight to keep his apartment after he told everybody he was leaving. He's the one who decided to stand behind his girlfriend and fight on her behalf. So you see, folks, the situation is this man has got a problem. And he can't seem to let go of something that he voluntarily bought onto himself. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, uh, by the way, I, um, like I said, I don't know if we're going to get rid of Facebook or not. We might, just because of other reasons that we don't know about. We all know about the, the uh, Facebook uh, uh surveillance and spying on people and stuff too and and um we all know about the NSA uh working with Facebook and doing surveillance on people. We all know about Facebook's popping up advertising advertising and filling our mailboxes with cruft. And I'm just right now I'm just so um I don't know. Like I said, the landlord's working on the building right now, and he's got a few things he has to fix, and he's working on those um, matters. But um, I just wish to God that, um, you know, this gentleman would just, you know, respectfully just back away. Your chapter here ended when you walked out the door and said, I left for the last time. You're no longer a tenant here. Why are you still making trouble for everybody? That's what I'm asking you. Don't even bother asking him. Because he'll just try to continue on arguing. 
It's not worth it, Michelle. Maybe we should just terminate the whole YouTube experience. I mean, that YouTube, the whole Facebook, just close the whole account down and just say goodbye. You know, just like your aunt did, just like your uncle did. It's time to get out of here. It's time to go home downstairs too, because it's hot in here. He says. Oh, guys, um, I will talk to you soon. Um, yeah, we will be having an Ask Us Anything Friday coming up sometime. But you know what? You guys still got time to get your questions in. Because keep coming up with the questions, guys. Please, just keep asking them. We'll answer them. We will answer them. I promise you that. We will. We'll answer them one way or another. We always do. So don't forget to send your questions to B-I-C-H-E-L-A-3 at gmail.com or to plus M-I-C-H-E-L-E space M-A-R-I-E space D-A-L-E-N-E at Google Plus or L-U-M-I-F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A at gmail.com or plus L-U-M-I space F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A at Google Plus. And please, we do want your help with this. Let's not people, please. We could use more donations. Please send your donations to either PayPal at B I C H E L A 3 at Yahoo.com or PayPal at B I C H E L A 3 at Gmail.com. Or you can mail your donations. To B I C or Michelle Marie Tony. Yes, make sure you get the US mail address right. M I C H E L E M A R I E D S and Dog A L E N E 112 Main Street, apartment number 9 in Winstead, W I N S T E D. The state is Connecticut and the zip code is 06098. Like I said before, we could use some telephone gear. Um, we can use definitely some financial help if I have to buy telephone parts and things like that. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm looking for 182 telephone equipment, you know, five button phones to control cards to key, a complete key system unit. Um, I, I had an old it t one years ago, which I would like to have again, but you know, we'll see what happens. And we can always use more Ethernet cable. Yeah, we can use more of that too. Um, by the way, how is the internet working over at the house the way it's set up right now? Uh, slow. It's probably about just as slow as it is in Cuba right now. If you were to use it, it's it's gonna be going a little bit faster than three um a little bit slower actually than three G. Um it's it's getting things are getting up and down, but the speed is pretty is pretty lousy, so yeah, it's at least we're up there. Um, but uh, we're holding on, guys, and um, you know that's that's a promise that we will get fine. Oh yes, by the way, my uh, uh, corset should be here sometime soon. They haven't shipped it yet, but um, they sit around the twenty sixth to June sixth, so we'll see what happens. I also ordered some more memory for another computer over there at the Yellow House um, to bring up to one and a half gigabytes. So hopefully that program will be here soon. And um, then that will help with the computer. And then eventually we're going to upgrade the power supply and put a better video card in to that machine as well to um, make it work better. And we did put some heat sink grease on uh, one of our servers here. That was constantly overheating. Now, hopefully, the heat sink grease on the, on the CPU, along with the new heat sink, will um, help keep things cool. That's one of the things I got to do some diagnostics on today, make sure it's working. But that's something I got to do here now. All right, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody.